Hello, welcome back. So we're going to be talking about the pH scale, all right? So I am going to draw a line, all right? And in the middle of this line, I'm going to put right there this line down the center, okay? So kind of like the balancing point between this side and this side over here. So on this line right here, I am going to put the number 7, okay? So seven is preceded, of course, by six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oops. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And then, of course, to the right, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So, the pH scale, what the word pH really stands for, it comes from the French, and it literally means, translated, power of hydrogen, all right? So pH describes either the acidity or the basicity of a solution, okay? So maybe you guys are familiar with things that are acidic, things like orange juice or lemon juice, right? So those liquids, though, are solutions which are very acidic in nature. And so we use the pH scale to describe how acidic something is. So from seven down to zero, I'm going to draw an arrow which increases like that, okay? You see how the arrow increases, gets bigger from right to left, okay? Now that is to indicate that as we go from pH seven, which is neutral, all right? We get more acidic, okay? So from seven out towards zero, you get increasing acidity. Okay, now from 7 to 14, we can draw another arrow. Now, this arrow from 7 to 14 indicates solutions which are more basic. Okay, now we say that pH stands for the power of hydrogen. What does this mean? That as we go, from seven out towards zero, we increase in the concentration of hydrogen ions. So when I draw an H plus, okay, that is a hydrogen ion, or in other words, a hydrogen which has lost its electron and taken on a positive charge. And whenever you see me draw brackets around something, that means concentration of. So from seven out towards zero, we get an increasing concentration in the amount of hydrogen ions. In other words, hydrogen ion, go, ion concentration goes up as pH goes down. Okay, that's really kind of weird, but yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive. So on the other hand, all right, something is more basic, a solution is more basic when you increase the concentration of OH minus ions. Now this stands for hydroxide ions. So something is more basic the more hydroxide ions it has. So from seven out towards 14, all right, the, this indicates an increasing amount of hydroxide ions. Okay? And at neutral, at pH seven, this is where the concentration of hydrogen ions equals the concentration of hydroxide ions, okay? Now, one more thing which we have to understand about the pH scale is that it is logarithmic, okay? So 
from, what do we mean by this? That we mean that for each unit change, for so for example, from seven to six, that means that there is 10 times more hydrogen ions at pH six than there are at pH seven. Let's use the red pen for this. If the red pen works, there we go. So 10 times more hydrogen ions at pH 6 than there are at pH 7, all right? Now from 6 to 5, same darn thing. There are 10 times the amount of hydrogen ions at pH 5 than there are at pH 6, okay? So what about the difference between pH 5 and pH 7? 20 times? No. The difference in the concentration between the hydrogen ions at pH 5 than at pH 7, 100 times. Okay, so that means that something that has a pH of 5 is 100 times more acidic than neutral solutions. Now, what solution is truly neutral? For example, water. Okay, now, same thing is true for hydroxide ions. From seven to eight, there's a 10 times difference in the hydroxide ion concentration. From eight to nine, there's a tenfold difference. From nine to 10, a tenfold difference. From 10 to 11, a tenfold difference. Okay, how much more basic is something at pH 11 than neutral water? So 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000, 100,000, right? You see how we just keep on adding zeros, million, 10 million, okay? Same thing goes for acidity. All right, here pH 5 is 100 times more acidic than pH 7. 1,000 times, 10,000 times, 100,000 times, 1 million times more acidic, 10 million times more acidic. Okay, so why is this important? Well, if we consider the different biological solutions that we find in our body, say for example saliva or blood those are closely those are pretty close to pH 7 all right urine is a little more acidic around pH 6 ish between 6 and 7 right but when we get to things like gastric juice like stomach acid that is way down at pH 2 at 10 100 1000 excuse me 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. So stomach acid is 100,000 times more acidic than saliva or blood, all right? And that's why the pH scale matters in biological sciences, not just in chemistry. And we're gonna talk more about this when we discuss different biological systems and the relevance of pH of those different biological solutions.